Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to be installing the air fuel ratio gauge by Racetech. Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the exhaust off so we can weld in the bung for the O2 sensor, the wideband sensor. Hi guys, sorry about the wind in this episode. Pretty windy day here in Melbourne. Hair fever's playing up, so you'll probably hear me sniffling and sneezing. But let's look at the exhaust. Alright, so it's been leaking. I knew it was leaking because I didn't actually reseal it. I'm going to put it back together. So, I'm going to have to take all... Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I will take it all off. So I did this all with a stick welder. So I'll take it all off and TIG it. Um, yeah. Alright, so just before I pull the dump out, I've just marked it with some masking tape. So where the sensor's going to go. Because um, it needs to be like 10 degrees coming out, so should be fine. I'll go get the sensor and make sure it all fit. I'm not foul up against the the cylinder there. Okay, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to reposition it to over here. Sorry. Ow, that's hot still. It's about there. Cool. Chuck some tape on that. Take that tape off. Alright, let's get it out. We have leaks. That's where I'm going to drill it. So drill it there first, through the wrap, and then we'll take the wrap off, and got a lot to fix today. Alright, just use the drill press, and got the hole in there, so we'll take all the wrap off. Yeah. Hey guys, I didn't realize how bad it was. That's nasty. Let's fix it up. I am so disappointed in myself with this welding job. It's like bird crap. <laughs> Alright guys, I haven't finished yet. It's about one o'clock. Still got these few to go. This one here. And to drill out the hole a bit more. But they're looking a lot better. So that compared to that so I'm just melting the metal that's already there not really adding any more unless I need to and the bung is looking 10 billion times better look at that heaps better alright guys <laughs> I have finally finished dump pretty much remade it did all the welds cleaned it up but it's still dirty on the inside so that's why the welds aren't the best <coughs> and let's put it back on <laughs> alright guys it's now four o'clock been doing this for six hours I've just got the dump back on pretty annoyed it took so long uh, one of the bungs when I was welding it, I put the bung in it so it wouldn't warp and the inside welded to the thread so that was awesome. Yeah, gotta go pick up my son now and then I'll get stuck into putting the gauge in. So hang on guys. 
Okay guys, it's another day. So that um, dump pipe took me so long and my hay fever was playing up yesterday. Rainy today. We're in the garage. So we're gonna put the, the sensor in and then we'll do everything inside. Okay, so we're just gonna sort it out what needs to go in the engine bay. So we've already got the sensor in the engine bay. We're sitting on the, the front. This one goes from that loom that goes to the sensor. So this end will be in the engine bay. And then it will come through the firewall to the black box. So we'll go from the engine bay, push it through. Then we have power so that's from the black box and I do have an extra loom and then this one is to the gauge I believe so that's power and that is from the black box to the gauge which I'll have mounted on the steering column Easy. There is one thing I am missing to mount this. And it is a long bolt, goes in the cup, I used them for the, the airflow meter, I cut them down, if you guys remember that, that was a while ago. I'll just probably put this up. In under the dash, so I'm going to center the power and is gauge gauge power. This is easy. Hey guys, just mounting the base plate for the gauge holder. Right, so I just got the cup sitting in there. I haven't got a bolt to go through it. Probably could find one just to keep it there for now. I'm just going to feed the wire through the back of it and put the gauge in there. Okay guys, it's mounted. So it looks like from the side. I just put a screw in it. It's um tight enough. It's not like I'm going to be grabbing onto it or anything. Cool. Let's get to the wiring. Okay, so we've got the wiring and down under the dash for the gauge. So we've got a piggyback from one of the other gauges. So I'll hook that up to the power loom. Which is connected to the box. So I'll solder that end to that end. Alright, power is run from this gauge down to here. Got two now, so we just need to run the sensor. Alright, so what we'll be doing is running this loom. So running that section through that grommet and uh, to that little black box. As 
just stuff another one through there. Got it. There is so much wiring for this. I guess all engine bays are different. It's like five meters worth. Run this down a truck. Come on, keep going. Push probably two meters through, and then that still reaches over to the battery. So I'll probably mount it over near the near the um, windscreen wiper motor. So over there. Sorry about the, the light guys, the light on this side of the garage is non-existent. Alright, time to get this sensor in and hook it up. There we go guys, the sensor is on. There. Alright, so we've got three connections here. We have the gauge, we have power, and we have sensor. Alright, let's see if the gauge works. Okay, first test. Haven't seen one of these digital form. And try not to get glue. Nope. Hmm. There we go doesn't come on until it starts learning cool Oh, are you serious? Goes to red at night time. Everything else goes to blue. <laughs> and blue during the day. That's alright. Let's check all the numbers. Twenty. Oh, I'll just tuck all that wiring up and we are done. Thanks for watching, guys. Smoky, what's going on there? Oh. No! <laughs> I didn't have the pump on! It's alright. Our, um,. Rebuild kit's coming for the TDO4, so I'm going to start soaking the TDO4 so we can get it apart. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.